everyone, it's Nina and I'm here today with Newton Stuff Designs and we're celebrating our Inky Paws Challenge number 25 and this is going to be a Halloween theme. I'm going to be creating a different project today. Uh, this is going to be a Halloween treat bag and I'm starting off by using a 10 inch by uh, four and a half inch piece of uh, patterned paper here. It's green. So right now I'm working on the score lines and uh, I will have a graphic um, coming up here showing which exact dimensions I'm using. As you can see, these are the lines that I've scored to create the dimensions for my bag. You can pause this image to be able to uh, copy these down so you can make your own. So let's keep going and build our bag. Now that I've got all my lines scored, I'm taking my paper and I'm folding it over to uh, start creating my bag. Just scoring, uh, folding it over the different lines that I've scored. And this last fold I'm doing, this is going to be what holds our bag together. So I'm going to take some tape runner, I'm going to put the tape over top of that piece. That is the uh, small half inch uh, score line that we did at the very end. Just go ahead and fold this bag over to uh, make the sides. So now I'm making the base and I'm folding in the, uh, the bottom here just like you would as you're wrapping a present. And then I'm just going to fold these over and then I'll start uh, taping the bottom together. So I fold it over the end and I'm putting some tape down. Just quickly doing that. And then I'll go ahead and fold that down to create one part of my bot base. And then I'll go ahead and do the same to the other side. So now I'm taking a hole punch and I'm punching the holes where my twine rib uh, strings will be. And that'll just then get punched on both sides and you can use a smaller or uh, whatever size hole punch you'd like this is just the one I had handy and I'm going and taking some orange baker's twine and I'm gonna go ahead and thread this through and I'm gonna tie my first handle tie one knot and then I'll go ahead and tie another and once I've tied the knots then I'll go ahead and trim off the uh, excess bit of uh, twine and then I'll go ahead and do the other uh, handle as well. So now I've got both my handles in place and my bags all finished, ready to go ahead and start the tag. So I'm taking this image from Newton's birthday bash and I'm going to create it into a, a Halloween party image and I'm coloring the bag with some oranges and yellows. Now I'm coloring the cat and I'm making him a bit of a calico cat. So I'm using some different browns and grays to create a uh, cute little cat. It's perfect for Halloween. And I've got my colors listed on the side of the screen so you'll know which ones I'm using. Starting off with some browns and now I'm working with some neutral grays. Just adding in some shading. Very simple coloring. It's a small image so you don't need a whole lot. Now I'm adding in the pinks for his ears and also added some blush to his cheeks. I'm working now on the uh, little tissue paper behind him and I'm coloring that in some greens and purples. Just adding in a little bit of shading. And now I did start to take my warm grays and add in some shadows along the cap. Now I'm coming back to the uh, little tissue paper here using some purples. And finishing off the other uh, one with some green again. So that completes my project for today. I added a few little embellishments to this tag and attached it to my bag. So be sure to head over to my blog where I'll have the complete product list as well as more pictures and inspiration. As well as information on how you can participate in this week's Newton's Nook Halloween Challenge. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you again soon.